all right, we're out for another adventure. Things kind of changed plans overnight. It wasn't supposed to be cold, it's not supposed to be rainy, but we decided to get out anyway. We're going to one of our favorite spots. We haven't been here in four, five, six months, so we got high expectations on finding something good. Just want to let you know the air temperature is 60 degrees, and we're hoping the water is going to be much, much warmer, but we're going to be in the water. So, thanks to Florida Rob, we're out on another one. So you got to stay tuned. We'll find something. We'll wait and see. All right, we're in our spot. We're fixing to get in the water. 61 degrees. Wind's blowing. The water's pretty warm though. Still got our scoops out in the water. But we're going to do it to it. Not that warm. <laughs> Rob, Rob's going to be new in the DS2, and I've got the uh, manacore out today, so let's do it to it. Well, the first corner of the day is a dime. I always like to show the first coin. All right, game's on now. Time to find something good. All right, real, real windy out. I got me a little coin spill. I just finished digging the dime up. Here's a nickel, and there's one more target down here. I'm gonna leave the camera on. Possibly a dime. Let's see if I can get up this scoop. another coin down there. Okay. No, I did. I got the coin. It's a nickel. Nickel and a bottle cap. 
Alright, that's what, six coins? Alright, I just got the 48. And I hadn't looked at it yet, so I thought I'd bring it up. Check it out and see what a 48 is. And it was showing on the uh, 3D line, so get the fingers crossed. I don't see nothing. Something small. Yep, it is. A little piece of aluminum. We're still learning. Okay, now I've got a target here. Bring it up 69. And I'm taking a penny. Big top sixty nine. That'll all be easy to remember. Well, I guess got this up. It's not anything at all. It's uh, not even a pair of Ray Bans. Broken sunglasses. I carry them out. I think I got a coin right here. I think anyway. I think I might have a floater, floater down here. You know what that means. I'm saying probably gonna be a big top. All right, I got it, let's see what it is. It's floating around a little bit. I don't see nothing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a dime. Cool me. I turned the camera off too soon. I got another coin. Make sure. All right, can I 
mud though, I know. There it is. with those two corners so I thought I'd dig it up. Don't like dirt and sentimental culture. I'll leave it on for a minute. That's for the rob. Well, we'll turn the camera on them. Better fire, I think I got another, just another penny down there, but. Got a very lot of good targets coming out today. So I thought I'd dig what I can dig, hear what I can hear, learn as I go. All right, I think I got this one. I'm not mistaken, I might hurt something else down there in a second. Well, I got a quarter. Well, that's not a quarter, it's something else. It didn't bring up like a quarter either. That's some type of uh, foreign money, I guess. Can't see no ticklers in it. But it's not a quarter, it's not a dollar. I got me a mystery coin. Nice rigid edge around it too. Look like a little brass color, copper color. Yeah. Well, I'll take it. I think I heard another coin down there, so I'm gonna check it out before I turn the camera off. Pull tab. I knew I heard something though. Okay, turn you back on again. Find another one. Well, I didn't think it was going to be very much. It's not. It's like a little ear loop. It's up tight. Got some little balls attached to it. Looks like I might have one right there. Probably have one at the end. I don't know. Ear loop or a little bracelet of some type. Who knows? Balls are loose in there. They swim around. Alright, into the pouch. Well, still no ring yet, but I do have a loop earring. Oh, I could be sure. Got the weight to it. I'll have to check that out later. Got the right color to it too. Might be a silver earring. Alright. That's something else. And it's definitely the right color. Check it out later. Well, here's another little piece that I found. A little studded earring. A little heart. And a little heart inside a heart. I bet those are real diamonds showing up right there. See them sparkle? Back. Bright color. I bet that's gold. We'll check it later. Well, I managed to pull up this little earring right here. See if you can see it. In the sun. There you go. No, I don't think it's silver. It was a little squeaker anyway. Now I'd get late in the afternoon. Probably won't find a whole lot more. Still counting on that rain coming up. Just any time now. 
Well, I just pulled this up. It's probably going to be the last target of the day. Look like it's a button snap with a K. That's going to be the best piece of shiny I got all day, anyway. All right. We're going to head back to the boat. Well, that's the end of today's hunt. Here's the video for the uh, last hunt. Uh, you see I've got a pair of sunglasses. i uh, got a lot of junk stuff. Now I am using the Manicore and I'm just now getting used to it. And I know right off the bat I'm going to have to notch out the uh, pull tabs which is probably going to notch out uh, 29, 30, 31. But I'm going to do a, another test with my rings that I've got and make sure that there's nothing in that range that I need to be aware of. Uh, I did get several several coins and the pieces of jewelry I got is uh, probably a couple of loop earrings here. Uh, a little studded earring with a heart there. Another little earring there. And uh, yeah, uh, I've got a lot to learn with the banner core about the numbers switching from really the CTX to the Equinox and now to the Manicore but I think it's uh, it's, it's going to be a real good machine just like any other machine you're going to have to learn it a little bit so uh, with that said uh, the hunt before this one uh, me and Captain Nemo went out and uh, we hunted a place that we've been thinking about uh, going to and uh, because of the loud music that was in the area, I decided not to do any filming. I did dig up several coins. In fact, a lot of coins was in that area along with a lot of trash. Ended up pulling up uh, 13 vapes, which vapes. And I uh, got one piece that at the time, I did not think it was going to be anything significant. But after I got it home and done an acid test on it, I wanted to show it. <laughs> That turned out to be 18 karat gold. So I really wanted to show it off because there's not a lot of times you pick up a piece this big and it was 12.6 uh, grams. So that's a pretty good, pretty good haul right there by itself. All right. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, Hope you can continue to watch my videos and subscribe, like, and hit the bell and all that stuff. Jimmy Crossbones and we're out of here.